2011, the lieutenant governor of Massachusetts crashed his state-owned car. At first, he blamed black ice. But the car had an electronic data recorder, or black box as it's called. It showed that Tim Murray was going 100 miles an hour. Oh, that too. And he wasn't wearing a seatbelt. The government is thinking about requiring black boxes in all new cars. Kalia Barnes is with the electric, Electronic rather, Privacy Information Center. And John Giamalvo is an analyst with Edmunds.com. Good morning to you both. I'm thinking the lieutenant governor's going, darn for the black box. <laughs> so I'll bet there are a lot of people that are thinking, good idea, bad idea. But what is the information exactly, John, that we can get from the black box. It really uh, just takes a snapshot of the event. So it's not like what people uh, know when they hear black box like in, uh, on an airline where they record the entire flight. It's strictly the event that happens. And it takes all the data from the exact position that the vehicle was in and what safety features were being deployed at that time and whether the brake was being applied or the throttle was being applied. So, for instance, it can't tell you who's in the car with you. It cannot. <laughs> Where you're going. No. Okay. <laughs> or if you're cheating on yes. your spouse. Yeah, I was thinking uh, for a suspicious wife, that could be something very handy. Just, just wondering. Okay. So it strictly just records what's there. Right. The, it the, okay. was put in for, you know, for safety features. And how long have these black boxes been in cars? For about 20 years now. In every car? Uh, it started out with General Motors. They were the pioneer on it. And today, about 95% of vehicles are already equipped with them. Kalia, what are the privacy concerns? Because I did not know that yeah. cars had this. And I imagine a lot of people are saying, wait, I don't want this recorded everywhere I've been. Well, they're not so much privacy concerns as actual threats to privacy. Uh, as John mentioned, these machines collect lots of data, and right now there are no federal laws that safeguard this information. And so what happens is there's an increasing market for this information. Law enforcement wants to see this information, insurance companies, as well as private citizens involved in litigation. Can, can they get you, yeah, yeah, can they get it? Yeah. Well, yeah Without our permission. It. Without your permission. Well, and at least thirteen states, states have gotten in front of this and say that the data belongs to the driver and you cannot get it without consent. But right now we don't have a federal baseline and in the majority of states they don't have privacy And if you protection. wanted to disable it, could you? <laughs> Just thinking. Just saying. Currently, no. no. Yeah. You cannot. It's proprietary information and, and uh, software that the manufacturers have in there. And, and that becomes another issue is how to actually access this data when a car uh, does lock down with that data box. Mm. But in the case of the lieutenant governor that we mentioned who said he had hit black ice, and in fact he was going 100 miles an hour and didn't have a seatbelt on, how did they access that information and how could they use that legally? Um, well, there's a certain device that in, is able to read the black box, mm -hmm. and what happens, it depends really in what jurisdiction. There's certain jurisdictions that say we're going to admit black box data, you have no expectation of privacy in it. And other jurisdictions say, hey, maybe the black box data isn't as reliable as we once assumed. So sometimes it's thrown into court, sometimes it, it doesn't, it's not admitted. Mm -hmm. So do you see that we're heading to the day that we all have this regardless of whether we want it or not? I believe Is that we what are. it's coming down to? I believe we are. And the more sophisticated the electronics and safety devices uh, become in a car, I think it's going to be more uh, incumbent on the manufacturers to see if that data is working. So I just think it's going to be more. Mm -hmm. All right. It's no Thank privacy you. anymore. No. 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 That's the moral yeah. of the story. Yeah. <laughs> Anywhere. Thank you both.